So I usually don't post videos like this and you can see all the cool Baby Yoda stuff, pop figures in the background. Um, I usually don't post stuff like this to YouTube. I haven't posted a rambling video or anything of the sorts in probably about like nine or ten years when I had a different channel in addition to this channel. And, you know, when I do post, it's usually like me playing guitar, me playing other stuff. I'll occasionally edit a video. I don't own any video editing software at the moment, but I can edit. I just am not right now. What I really wanted to bring up, and I just wasted 40 seconds, what I really wanted to bring up was that announcement today, uh, that report from the New York Times that says Guitar Center could possibly go bankrupt. Now, Guitar Center, I, I know a lot of people are get kind of mad at Guitar Center you know, if you're one of the more higher end people who only want to spend tons and tons and tons and tons of money on certain aspects, on certain gear, um, there's kind of like a little snobbish thing of, oh, you should have a guitar center, use their guitar picks, use cheap, please use free, cheap piece of plastic. Bro, cringe. No, like, it's kind of a really weird thing to get upset about at people, but, uh, Apparently they're going to go bank. There's a chance that they could go bankrupt. They had a chance to go bankrupt uh, this past spring. I'm not really familiar with their entire financial situation or how they got out of that, um, or if it was related to anything else, uh, how they got out of it. But uh, what Guitar Center really did for a lot of people, I think, was bring the barrier to entry into playing the guitar, playing the bass, uh, getting amps, getting equipment uh, much, much lower than what it used to be or what it had been prior. You know, uh, a lot of the times guitar centers ended up being in suburbs. Uh, you know, there, there used to be, like, giant warehouses, like, way back in the day in, like, major cities. But they made it uh, easier for you if like, you really wanted to get equipment. Because, like I said, like I said, if you were in the 90s and 2000s, that, that's when you're, you started playing it's a pretty good chance your first guitar was from there. And, you know, it offered, they had a lot of great deals, like, oh, you got free cables for life, for a lifetime warranty on them for whatever reason. Um, and it, having the entity that was keeping a lot of the barrier to entry very low is a much, is a little bit of a bigger deal than what people want to make it out to be. Yeah, I understand that we have Amazon, uh, you know, having very cheap prices and stuff like that, but Amazon should not be the thing keeping people from from playing or not playing an instrument. Um, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of like smaller shops, and I you know I try to support you know those as much as I can, but man, sometimes they just try to gouge you on prices. Like I remember like fucking nine years ago or something like that i walked into a local shop near me it was like one of the first times like when i first moved here i was up there and i was looking around and like man they were charging like like 15 dollars something 15 dollars for like strings or something it was something ridiculous that i was like mm, i can wait to go back to the chicagoland area and you know see what they got <laughs> when i go to visit but yeah, like re really the thing I really want, want to hit on, just bring up, I, I'm not going to like give a whole in-depth thought out thought about this whole thing just because like I'm just recording on my phone and really the only point I want to bring up is the barrier to entry that Guitar Center kind of took away for a lot of players. Like if you look at over here, this guitar I've actually had, that was my first guitar in 2008. I play it out all the time. If you look at my other videos of me playing at Rosie Music Hall, uh, New Vibe, you know, however many years ago, uh, both of, both those places and more, it's that's the guitar I use. The featured video of me on my channel is me playing that guitar that I got for relatively cheap, very cheap actually, um, you know, 12 years ago. And there's just like a certain aspect of being able to buy and test out your instrument. Is this something I really want that you kind of really don't get as much online um, and really just being able to get things for cheap, get being able to get an amp for cheap, being able to get picks for free or cheap, being able to have basically anything uh, consumer from a consumer standpoint 
is not a good thing to lose. And really hope that all these markets kind of pick up. If they do end up, these other shops do pick up, you know, more squires, more whatever. Hey, good, good on them. You know, get those, you know, get those prices down for consumers. You know, other than that, um, just keep it in the back of your mind that it's not necessarily a good thing that they're going away.